Greetings everyone, A John here, another Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod replay. Small in the top left side as the Inquisitor, we have Marshall. Small in the bottom right Look side back. as A the red node. uh what's it called? Orc War Boss, we have Strider. Looks like we do got immediate sentinel being brought on in, as well as some as a shoot or yeah, shooters. Cadians are always ready. Are you I sure you're always ready? You know it. Didn't Cadia fall, or did Cadia not fall? Oh, there's also uh, what universe? There's also there's Warhammer 40k and well as, as well as Warhammer 50k. So what time period? This is definitely 40k area, but what do you ever consider like Cadia has fallen? If you are looking for the 50k uh, buttons or the 40k buttons? We got these set going now, engaging. And I think my audio may be a bit too loud. One second. And that seems a little bit better. Inquisitor. Getting knocked back by the war boss, Sentinel has not has seen very little damage, and it looks like he's upgraded with the ground pound upgrade. The reason why they had that as an upgrade, we would assume it would just be available naturally. It was a little bit overpowered of how early and how aggressive the Sentinel can be, because the Imperial Guard, while designed to be more orc-like than the actual orcs in mass uh, numbers in this game, the Sentinel provides a unique playstyle that. The other faction really has an early light vehicle. It's great for anti bleed. It can also decapture uh, points while not fully able to capture them entirely. We have the sergeant. Well, appears to be the sergeant upgrade now available. So when the, ser if, when the sergeant is alive, whatever you got kills off a model, the two models get replaced and reinforced. Them. So it basically reduces the reinforcement cost by half. And decides to do a full retreat, unable to so engage and melee. Over here we've got uh, the shooters decapturing the point. And oh, it looks like the Sentinel decides to go forward and does a smash, forcing back the shooters entirely. A little bit of damage here. Has it Quizzer always had a plasma pistol? I don't see any upgrades over here. Show me our I guess the Quizzer has a plasma pistol. I thought she had some sort of like flame pistol. Thing. Maybe the mod has changed stuff. I really not familiar, 100% familiar with the mod. The, the mod changes a lot of stuff, and night and balancing must be a general nightmare. There, the guards engaging the war boss. The war boss is going to easily win. Are coming on in. The Guardsman Squad was suppressed. There is a Luda back here. Oh, and there we go, got suppression. What's up with the animation bugs? You don't see the bullets, but all of a sudden just sprays all the bullets at once. Watch. No bullets. Boom. I have no idea what's causing it, but it's actually fun to play around with. Oh, getting some bullets. Eh, no, that's from the, That's actually from the support squad. So some sort of bugs happen with the Luda, and I have no idea what's causing it. We got these looters or sluggers now moving on forward. Not tying them up in melee. Wizards try to tie them up in melee. Over on the right side, we've got the guardsmen engaging at long range. Luda has repositioned. We'll go ahead and start suppressing these guard squads. The Sentinel could potentially push on in and disrupt the uh, Luda himself, but I don't think the uh, Sentinel's durable enough for that. He decides to go ahead and just. Do a uh, repositioning of his forces. No point in trying to uh, win the engagement if you believe you're not going to win a successful engagement. Guard squads are here. The Sentinel is firing. I thought it was getting body blocked a bit. It sort of is. The central power point could be captured on up. Three squads of guards. Uh, that's two Luda, two shooters, one slugger. 
and the Luda will entirely get his flank. The Sentinel can rush on forward and immediately retreats back. Good idea. He probably won't get a model, but he could potentially get a power gen if he focus fires for them. We got the Shooters, upgraded the big Shooter. The Sluggers and the War Boss here. Forces just generally pushing forward. The war boss will take quite a bit of damage. We do got a little bit of knockback for the war boss himself. Inquisitor is now repositioning. Uh, the Inquisitor used some sort of ability there. I'm not exactly sure what ability it was. It looks like the Pure Guard are in full retreat. The Sentinel sustaining huge amounts of damage. The Quiz are just trying to buy as much time as possible. Perhaps we'll withdraw sooner rather than later because it's not going to be any good engagement. You got a Slugga or falling back as well and trying to get some more damage on the Slugga. Sentinel still pitching away some damage. You got the other Imperial Guard squad over here. Captured the southern part of the map. Very nice. Now I'm getting a little bit disoriented because there's no way to increase the size of the UI. It's all tailored to, I guess, at most 1080p. So 4K is, well, things literally four times smaller. Literally, the map size, if it was a 1080p, would be about this big. I don't believe there's any way for me to increase it. Luda's pushing up forward, Slugas, the war boss eyeing for the northern requisition point. And this generator is slowly being picked apart. The Sentinel is getting repaired on up. He needs help. One generator is down. Point will be deconfirmed. There was actually two generators, if I remember correctly. So he actually taking out two generators. The Sentinel will find an angle. Will knock back the Ludas. The guards are not suppressed. The Quizzer is. No, isn't. And repairing the... What's it called the uh you no know, in combat it has upgraded with the rocket launcher so it appears to be tier two has been research. Tier two is on the way for the orc player and it looks like we've got a chimera transport. Good amount of damage coming down the war boss, those frag missiles. They deal with, like high explosive, right? Oh, it looks like they're able to select either high explosive or with armor piercing. We got the primary transport now available. Bane Wolf is the acid sprayer. Is it acid or is it poison? I always get those two mixed up. Acid's probably more likely because poison is not necessarily affected weapon of warfare. This acid. Gas is another thing, but that's uh, in a gaseous state as opposed to a liquid state as like acid and poison. In general, when I hear the word poison, I don't think poison is gas, I think poison is liquid. It is not simply a gen bash, but the point is locked down. He's, ooh, that signal is sustaining huge amounts of damage, it entirely goes down. The machine gun fire. Chimera is now pushing on forward. It is much more resilient. And it looks like it is garrisoned up with a guard squad. You can see all that fire coming out. We got a weird boy out on the field, which does have. Oh, it looks like those two guard squads. The weird boy needs to fall back. The wizard utilized ability is a stun ability. And there goes the weird boy. And that is a really dead, fast, dead weird boy. And. Processing the lad's request. So the Inquisitor's improved. Ah, my phone's going off. And Sean gets obliterated with the weird boy. The Inquisitor, I'm not sure if the uh, Quizzer stun can stop in retreat, but I'm here to be. It appears that the... I'm really never sure. It looks like the Chimeras can only equip... Uh, others can only be fired on the side. You can actually see a bunch of small turrets. We got 
looks like a uh, ink busters. I'm trying to say it's rocket boys, but those are probably storm boys. The war boss actually pretty low in health, and the wizard may go down as well. A retreating squad, it is sluggers with flamethrowers have maybe a down to quiz there. We do got one squad of guards ejected. It looks like both squads are actually ejected. We run down, but the tank bus is going to force back the Chimera. Our squad of down here, capture the points once again. Overall, great uh, viewer control by the Imperial Guards player. And good dodge there, dodging into the vehicle. We're standing by here. Ink Buster is moving on forward, does get another volley off, good damage there. He's unable to repair the Chimera, packs of guards to just pop out and fight. The Chimera provides forward re reinforcements, right? There goes all the power generator there, and we do got the some sort of uh, damage uh, ability. It's just straight up invulnerability for three to seven seconds. At first I thought it was like some sort of energy drain shield ability, but it's just straight up damage vulnerability. Three to seven seconds sets. Oh, it increases our speed uh, by three for seven seconds. So it's seven seconds in vulnerability. Wonder what a weapon upgrade he's gonna go for. One of the tank buster models are down. The same here's my damage. It looks like these are quizzers along the squad now, because there's 12 models per squad. Warboss may want to eye for some sort of anti vehicle weapon at this rate. Oh, we got a Luda with a death gun as well. My mayor needs to fall back. The Warboss is almost down. The Warboss needs to fall back. Chimera will go ahead and escape on out. He's going to repair near the front line, but the Luda has nothing to escort him. As I was saying before, the Warbots could have potentially upgraded by anti-vehicle weapon, but he has two anti-vehicle so units now, so... Online. So, and some sort of anti-infantry upgrades probably better rather than anti-vehicle, because it can't be over too oversaturated anti-vehicle, but usually the heavy melee weapons also gain increased vehicle damage. We have a tier 3 for the Imperial Guards player, tier 3 on the way for the Orc player, so most likely you may see a Luda tank and or Lehman Russ. And we do have the invulnerability coming out and soaking up so much damage. We've got some sort of massive stun wave. Holy crap, what ability was that? Uh, Purgatus. Purge. Grants the Purgatus ability, which unleashes a ring of flames that also stuns and damage the nearby units. Also increases the health of the uh, Inquisitor by 200. Holy crap! Why haven't we seen that combination used before? It's literally a vulnerability and then run forward in order to stun the army. Holy crap! That combination may be overpowered. And it looks like he still has access to a weapon so upgrade. A so there. perhaps some sort of plasma weapon? Something? Can still be available for the Inquisitor. I would say some sort of ranged weapon as well. Because running forward, stunning, will take out quite a bit of health. And just... I just prefer ranged weapons, but... A lot of people do like the melee weapons. So something to the person's preference. There's no need for any vehicle weapon just yet. No vehicles to fight. Good a tank up here is on the build field. Chimera still being very problematic for the orc player. I wonder how many squads you need to garrison in order to utilize those uh, turrets. There's 12 models per squad, so I would assume one is just needed, but he has both squads in there. Honestly, going forward. Poking and falling back, and we do got the incendiary bombing run, the some red points to utilize there, and more generators going down. 
In fact, that generator was actually uh, equipped rather than this one because he lost generators on this one so many times. And we got the blue tank here. I don't think he realized the blue tank. He's going forward and punching forward, but he's going to lose that Chimera. Lehman Russ out on the build queue. Will it go for a just keep it on upgrade or will it go for the Executioner or Demolisher Cannon? Demolisher, I believe, is the AT. Executioner is the plasma general purpose like AT infantry cannon that goes doo, 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 doo. The Demolisher Cannon, the anti vehicle cannon, may be a bit better because he has no other anti vehicle unit right now. We'll go for some, uh, what's it called? Plasma guns on these Imperial Guard Squad because why not? Plasma cannons will help with the anti head heavy infantry as well as giving better anti vehicle damage. So I think plasma cannons, guns will be a great upgrade for the Imperial Guards right now. Even Russ is here. We see the Vanquisher cannon. Oh, I guess it's called Vanquisher. That's the anti vehicle damage. The Vulture is the uh, predator, probably. And vulnerability has been activated. We do got the. Uh, Anti vehicle weapon being upgraded of some sort of Melta gun. The Inferno pistol. That's the pistol I'm always used to seeing the cogs are equipped with. And he has some sort of marked target on top of the vehicle. Vanquisher cannon is just moving on forward. And he reverse moves. One shot to the rear armor will kill it off, but the. It's very low in health. The Luda is forcing back. Has the Duff Gun still equipped. Tank Busters are here. Tank Busters will get some rear armor heads. And does use a stun ability. And does actually reach that squad just barely. And does a huge amount of damage. Both tanks are forced to withdraw. And need to get some repairs. But there's plenty of guards for repairs. That's the Slugger. Right? And then he needs that for repairs. So the Luda... Uh... Would the tank actually go down? Or is this some sort of other repair squad here? Did that Luda tank actually go down? I don't see any carcass. So how did it get repaired so quickly? Luda's can't repair, only sluggers. Unless shooters can repair. I don't know. I'm not sure how it got repaired so quickly. Is moving on forward. There is some guards here. This structure requisition point still in favor of the guards player. And all VPs are actually knocked. Oh, well, the VPs are currently stabilized. We are ready to proceed, sir. Vanquisher cannon is moving on forward. Central point has been locked down and now destroyed. The Vanquisher cannon should be a win because it's a dedicated AT gun. And multiple good hits. And now the looted predator is down. I think that's actually a looted. Is looted tank a predator or a lemon rust body? I think it's a predator body. But that lemon uh looted tank is down. That is a massive loss for the orc player. It was largely unsupported. Yeah, the lemon rust is a good tank. And it has a variable uh, upgrade. Honestly, I do like the looted tank. It's decent versus infantry. It's pretty good versus the guard squad. My, but yeah, the Lehman Russ is, in my opinion, generally the best tank in the game. The executioner gun, the one that's a plasma cannon, is very nice versus infantry. And which with two Lehman Russ, it annihilates infantry. At least the non-elite mod variant, because the, the elite mod does a lot of balancing, and which is a lot of overpowered stuff available in the base game. And uh, that aura ability is so powerful. Jeez. We got another looted tank out on the field. The Chimera got a, car a carcass is now destroyed. So the generator is online. Oh, I'm sorry. They're stupidly resistant, honestly, I would say. A 
power node. But, yeah, like you said, he gets kited. He, I remember seeing a General Gentleman video where somebody used this weird boy to throw his knobs at the enemy. Good rocket barrage coming down the, on the tank. Great hits. The Lunar Tank is still hitting the uh, Adians, which is not good to target for him. The Lunar Tank needs to prioritize fire. It got some marked target now on him. Sort of one thing I love about computers too, this priority, uh, priorities target so you make sure your tank only like engage infantry or only engage vehicles. Oh, and the quizzer getting pretty low in health. Other game. If you've ever seen the replay tag, there was two games for these players. I chose one of the long replay, but apparently this that this may be the second game. Mr. Cannon, Luda Tank not fully repaired. This engagement is very close. Luda tanks one shot away from uh, death. And there goes the Predator thanks to the death gun. But the Quisner takes out the Luda tank. Uh, how much resources does the Inquisitor player has? He has a lot of requisition as well as a decent amount of power. Is he going for a aim blade? Sir, Another lunatic on the build queue. Oh, it looks like the, the previous game may have he had some lag, but looks like I think the Inquisitor player. But yeah, there is a Bane Blade on the build queue. He has enough resources as well as for some stormtroopers, in which the Inquisitor player can bring in some infiltrator stormtroopers to help support his force. Oh, Wi Fi. Wi Fi. While it doesn't exactly hurt like ping and latency, there's something called packet loss where packets of information are just lost as it's going wirelessly rather than through a wire. We've got the Imperial Guards moving on forward. All three of them has. I don't see any plasma guns on them. I really wish we see some plasma guns. He's been saving all his energy. He's getting out a Bane Blade. And, oh, wait. Did that ability severely damage all the uh, generators? He may want to note those are all freshly built placed ones. You got these sluggers that are moving on forward. They're doing some good uh, damage. And we do got a standard bunker dropped on in. You don't actually really see that very often. It's a good hard point. Great for a uh, auto cannon or heavy bolter. Quitting this task for another, I, trust. I do love plasma cannons though. And it looks like the loot tank is going to eye and not really destroy that building. Is the Bane Blade is here? It is the Bane Blade. Oh, and there goes the Inquisitor. He may have enough uh, requisition there, and he actually have a big bonus of requisition at that moment. I wonder if he actually, uh, can you sell all the structure for requisition back? Now only if the Orc play had a looted Bane Blade. There is Lehman Rust here for green for uh, some heavy cover, and we do got another bunker appears to be drop dropping on in. He has enough for a Valkyrie gun strike as well. So, we do got the heavy cannon, the border pestle. One good, if he aims it right around here. No, he does not. He probably was out of range. The range is on that, uh, maybe that's actually called the Demolisher Cannon. Names a lot of those guns mixed up. No doubt. Yeah, the Bane Blade is the Bane Blade. Bane 
interesting to note that I, part of my friend who plays tabletop, it's hard to play as Imperial Guard, but in this and Dawn of War 2, Imperial Guard is actually a very fun and easy faction to play. Well, melee units are powerful, you don't have to worry about building any of them for a good source of damage. All great stuff. Aim Blade is moving forward. The tank hunters are doing, not doing all too great. The war boss only has the boss pole. Aim Blade has seen quite a bit of damage here, but the war boss is going down quite rapidly, down to 20% health. Oh, listen, this side's a withdrawal draw. He does have Imperial Guard here for repairs. Another reason why Imperial Guard is so uh, easy faction to play as for a repair unit, your stated infantry unit is pretty decent and has low breed if you get a lead when you have officers, so you have less uh, reinforcement costs. You have the blue to take over here, it is wounded, he needs to bring the sluggers, and he decides to go ahead and cast the GG. The tickets are all accounting down in his favor. You've all but done it, sir. And that is the end of the game. This is Agent saying thank you for watching and signing off.